you think of a road as a, as a cake and a sponge cake, with that sealed surface on top providing um, primarily stopping the water getting in and, and turning that sponge, uh, which is the gravel, um, soft. So potholes occur when the sealed surface or the icing aged and starts to crack and, and there's lots of water. It will soak in, get into that gravel or into the sponge, that, that light first layer of the cake, and turn it soft. The sponge gets softer and softer and eventually um, it, it will collapse and it's just a repetitive issue as, as, as more water falls in, more traffic drives over the top of it, more water and dirt gets pushed out. At any one time, we have a fair idea about the number of potholes. We've got roads inspectors that log condition and the location of those potholes. And we've got a system that we use that logs that, prioritises it based on risk to the community. And that's how our, our work orders are complete. So in the last three months, there's been about 600 potholes reported by what we call customer requests. Um, so they've been generated either by members of the public or by our councillors. Um, there's been about four and a half thousand potholes picked up by our roads inspector. But in that same period, we've patched 13,000 potholes. So pretty obvious from those figures that it's not only the potholes that get reported, but while our crews are out patching potholes, they also come across more potholes. When we're responding in wet weather um, and, and the pothole repairs that we do with the cold mix, it really is a temporary fix. It's about filling the hole as soon as we can and we have to prioritise so we, we often have to miss the, the, the less urgent uh, potholes to get to the, the really bad ones or those potholes on the busiest roads. We need to fill those potholes as quick as possible so that the traffic can keep flowing and one, not make the pothole bigger, but it's really about risk management and not having them damage their tyre or having an accident by you know, falling into a, to a large pothole. So it really is just a quick fix to keep the road going and keep people safe. In drier weather, we can actually do a temporary repair with a pothole, but the pothole repairs that we do in drier weather with our hot mix and a more proactive approach will, will last a lot longer. We, we may get a couple of years out of them, particularly on some of the back roads, and, and we can also catch up on, on those back roads that we didn't get to um, during the storm itself.